I, I'm, I'm blinded by the benefits, John, um, okay. if I'm quite, <laughs> quite honest. Um, although I've experienced the, um, essentially the, um, when it first came out, I was um, really blown away by it and probably went through the Dunning-Kruger effect of high expectations and actually got a little bit real about what it could do, which I think a lot of people do when they get excited about new tech. Uh, but I think the con uh, in terms of consequences or long-term consequences um, for L and D, I, I think it's, I think, I think I can only see the role of L and D in the upskilling and reskilling phase in terms of, you know, are they equipped? Are L and D teams equipped to use this technology, um, and are they adopting it effectively? And if they're not, and others are, and they're using it well, I think there are consequences there for those for those teams that are. I wouldn't say laggards, but aren't folks that are really trying to explore. So I think I think it's going to separate. Um, I think it's going to separate those that will adopt and use effectively, and that will accelerate their progress and effectiveness in support of the organisations that they're working in. And folks that aren't will be using tools that that we've been using for for a while. Um, and I think that the differences will show up there quite significantly. So it's I guess my my message is. Try and get on board with it. Be curious, like Laura said, and, and Matthew have mentioned as well. This, and and I guess think about ways with your teams to 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 utilise this effectively to 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 increase your return on investment for the organisation. Yeah. So um, for me, a future trend, a kind of long term potential implication, is already grounded in our current reality. So within L&D, one of the current issues that we have is that people get overwhelmed by the content that is available. And that is already an issue. So that generative AI has the potential to make that even worse. So, and the cut through to help learners know what is, what is the most important learning for them rather than just overwhelming them. So more content is not more in terms of the impact that it has on learning. And I think for me, there is a risk around how we make sure that we are taking and addressing that trend to develop fresh quality insight that is not just more content. So how do we help people to cut through? And maybe there's a way of using generative AI to help with that. But I think there's there's a real risk that that trend that is already there just gets worse. And how do we help people to navigate You know what really is the most important thing that they need to know about their job or about the future job or about the possibilities in their career in the future.